Hey, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and welcome to another catching event playthrough. Specifically, it's going to be a Finneon and Magikarp catching event playthrough. I'm going to be hanging out. Got some people here from my Discord and some buddies. I'll uh, also be here with me. So this is a funny event because I'm actually going to be using the, the good rod. That's like the rod to find Finneon, which is funny. Uh, so that'll be an interesting part of the event. And I don't know, just, you don't use a good rod a whole lot. But this will be sort of a chill, casual. This is part of my playlist, Pokemon Mo casual content. So it's kind of me just hanging out, playing the game, talking to you guys, giving some thought process, giving some kind of behind the scenes uh, information. You can see my fan behind me as my AC is currently not working so hot. Uh, so I'll be having that running a little bit. I'll try to turn it off every time I record, but if I don't, I'm very sorry. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and search for my first encounter. So it's currently 4.55, so I have around 5 minutes. I do have a synchronized Pokemon on me, but this will only be used for the first encounter. So I'm really hoping that the first Finneon that I get is going to be a timid one. I'm going to wait for Finneon. It doesn't really matter that much whether it's Finneon or Magikarp, but I'm going to go for Finneon just because it's the uh, it's the event Pokemon, I guess. Why? No, it feels more special that way. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be setting up my first encounter, so I'm going to lead with my timid Kadabra, go ahead and swap to my Catching Smeardle, and then set up the catch for, for that Finneon. But then for the rest of the event, I won't be using a synchronized Pokemon, and I'll just be having my catching smeargle out because there's, i'm going to be catching so many pokemon throughout this event i actually really wish i would have cleared my boxes for this event hmm maybe i should go do something about that really quick i don't know if i have so little space for this event i just i just realized i have so little space for this event and it's going to be a pretty big catching event well we only have about four minutes left so hopefully that's not too bad anyways i'll see you guys when i find a finneon Okay, I got a Finneon, so I'm going to go ahead and swap to my Smeargle, and go ahead and just Fall Swipe it and Spore it. I think post this catch, I'll just be Fall Swiping and Pokeballing, uh, and I won't be Sporing every every Pokemon like this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. I am really starting to sweat about my boxes. I have very, it's going to be really messy. I have very little box space right now. Um... I just wish I would have planned this a little better. But we'll see, you know? We just gotta catch Pokemon and we'll figure it out. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, it's currently 4.57 p.m., so the event starts in about three minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna open Global Chat, actually, just so I can see exactly when they, you know, say, go ahead, start catching. I'm ready to throw a Pokeball whenever I need to. I'm just sitting here waiting. And yeah, I'm ready to start the event whenever it happens. I'll see you guys when it's time to throw the Pokeball. Okay, the event officially started. Gonna throw my first Pokeball and hopefully get a good first catch. You can actually see the, the spinning blades of my fan because I just turned it off to start the recording. Okay, there's the catch. Easy peasy. I should just be able to false swipe and not have to spore for the rest. A serious so I, I didn't get the, the synchronize anyway but i tried you know all i can do is try there so i'm gonna go ahead and then it is a fishing event so can't wait to see all these not even a nibble signs i had some people in my discord saying that old rod might be better i'm not sure if old rod is um like better encounters or not i just ran on accident that person actually caught that uh finneon he was showing up a 26 total store finneon that he caught a little early like 30 seconds prior to the event which is funny some cool it's always cool seeing the shinies around and the, there's a shiny vaporeon over here a shiny vile plume it's cool seeing the shinies i have my shiny uh shuckle following me you know showing that bad boy off so it's cool to see the pokemon i led with my i'm already making so many mistakes that's okay i led with my uh my persian instead of my smear anyways i'll just i'll catch i'm gonna catch a bunch of magikarp a bunch of finneon and i'll just get back to you guys when uh when i got something something notable something good it's also i'll give you some checkpoints i don't know i'll see you guys whenever i want to talk okay yo 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 i caught two notable carps so far so as you can see this one on my right is around 20 plus cross uh cross five stats so i'm gonna note that as noted and then this one is a one times 31 male speed which is pretty cool uh but yeah that's it those are the two carps so far that i've caught that i can either sell uh for pokeyan or breed later on they're not, neither of them are gonna be uh, important like tournament entries or like for this catch event they're not gonna be important entries 
Um, 140 is just like not enough total store at all to uh, place in an event like this. But some cool Pokemon made during the event while also having some fun and competing. So I'm all about that. All right, I actually caught another noted carp as soon as I turned off recording. This is pretty cool. This actually could either be just a bad UT or a breeder. So this I could train into a mediocre comp and then sell it. It, it being naive, having a plus speed nature while also having 20 plus, 24 plus across an attack, defense, special defense, and speed. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's probably, I would guess that it's probably worth to actually breed the HP up. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it's worth to breed the HP up. And then um, have it be like just like an actually super decent comp. Uh, it's not going to have like 31 attack, 31 speed or anything like that. But it's still a pretty decent Gyarados comp. And the best thing about making mediocre Gyarados comps is that you don't need to pay to moveset them. A lot of the moves that you're, that Gyarados needs to learn anyway. That's a 2 times 0 I'll mark that as well. Uh, a lot of moves that Gyarados needs to learn are going to... Um, he's going to learn on level up anyway. And I actually talked about that in my um, top five Pokemon to help you beat Pokemon like the storylines video because Gyarados is a great option. He learns, you know, he learns Waterfall, he learns Crunch, he learns Dragon Dance. These are all super powerful moves, especially Dragon Dance. The fact that he can like learn that setup move on le upon level up and then get Stab, Waterfall, and Crunch for spread. And then like you can teach him a TM. You can either teach him Power Whip, which is a grass type physical move, or Earthquake, and that's going to make his coverage pretty damn strong. And he'll be a he'll be a huge threat. So yeah, hopefully this carp is decent. We'll see, and then we'll stop the recording there. Okay, not 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 nothing to write home about. All right, I'll see you guys next notable poke. Okay, here's a quick one times thirty one. That's pretty good. One times thirty one defense on a carp. Okay, I'm fishing so oh, I'm fishing so I can't name it. But after this battle, I'll have to rename this carp one times thirty one to make sure I you know label it correctly and denote it in my boxes. So yep, another one times thirty one carp. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm actually going to try a different strategy. So that I saw my uh, team leader kind of talk about in a way, and it kind of gave me the idea. So thank you, Auk, for the idea. I'm going to lead with my synchronized Pokemon, and I'm just going to go ahead and Pokeball it and just try to see if that catches. Because usually I fall swipe it out on 1 HP, um, but it is Magikarp. It's totally possible that I can just lead with my synchronized Pokemon and just throw a Pokeball and hope it catches. I don't want to have to use, like, Great Balls or anything for this event. That would definitely be kind of rough see that's not a great that doesn't catch um but i'm not sure i'm not sure this is going to be better or not so even if i catch it if i catch the magikarp within two pokeballs it's probably worth it because it takes two turns to fall swipe it down anyway plus fall swiping it fall swiping is a short is a shorter animation than the pokeball wobble but i think it's worth it overall um unless i'm going for like lowest score or if I were to get a Magikarp that was like really low score and then it had like it happened to have Timid, uh, I, I'd be in a bit, uh, that would suck. But I don't know, I think it's worth it to, I'm going to at least try, I'm going to try this for a little bit, uh, see how it goes. And if it's just not as good, I'll just swap back to this miracle, easy peasy. So I just wanted to try this method, uh, see how it goes. And I'll get you, I'll get back to you guys with some feedback and let you know. Like, see, so there you go. As long as I kicked in the first two balls, I think it's, it's probably worth it. But another adamant. Over here with a timid, synchronized Pokemon, and I'm getting back to bad ad back to back adamant. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna catch some more Pokemon, and I'll get back to you guys with anything notable. Okay, I ultimately did decide to just swap back to the Smeardle lead and just go with that catch strategy strategy with the one false swipe into Pokeball, because there was a Magic Carp that cost me three Pokeballs and three Great Balls, and I ended up just having to swap to my catching Smeardle to catch it anyway. So if I if there's like certain Magic Carps that are gonna cause me that much trouble. Uh, just to leave with the synchronized Pokemon. I don't think it's worth it personally. I'd much rather just be able to safely throw up one false swipe and then like catch the Magikarp 100% of the time. So it's just way more casual and fun for me as well. So might as well just might as well just do that, you know. All right, here's a nice one times 31 and one times 30 Magikarp. That's pretty cool. Also in pretty good stats, being attacked in speed. So it's pretty cool to see. Nice carp. Okay, there's a nice one times thirty one. I forgot to turn my fan off this time. I'm sorry about that, but one times thirty one with naive nature plus the one times thirty one is an attack, and then the uh, defense and speed are both twenty plus. That's pretty cool. I'm currently around twenty six minutes into the event, so I'm kind of pushing that halfway point. As well as I was just thinking about how it's funny that this event is technically a Finneon event, 
but I think me and most people are just using the old rod and just catching Magikarp. I think there might be a higher catch rate on the old rod because you're kind of encountering lower level uh, Pokemon and lower level carp. I think that, I well, as you see me like get not even a nibble like 20 times in a row, but I think it's a little more common to actually like catch a Pokemon on your rod and on the old rod. I could be wrong. But anyways, it's still easy to catch Magikarp. So I'm just, it's, it's a finny on catch event kind of, but I'm mostly just catching or I'm only just catching Magikarp because, um, there's not a species bonus. So there's no benefit to catching finny on. So I might as well just catch Magikarp, you know, it's kind of where I'm at with it. So I'm going to keep catching some Magikarp and I love catching Magikarp. I've, I've caught a lot of Magikarp in my days and I'll get back to you guys with any, with any notable carps. Let's go ahead and check this one though really quick and nothing see you guys soon okay there's a nice one times 31 magic carp my magic carp i just turned my fan off i'm so sorry i've been good about it for most of the clips um dude it's funny that my magic carp are now spilling all the way over i think into my utility box yeah my utility pokemon box so these magic carp are gonna be a pain to sort through i'm gonna have to really uh, dude, I need to clean up my boxes. The main thing is my, my dittos, man. I need to clean out my ditto section, which I need my, my other box clear to do so. So I have to like, I'm going to have to do this process. Uh, as I approach a thousand subscribers, I have a video planned and then that'll clear out a certain box. And then I will also kind of use that to clear out another box. So we'll, we'll just see and go from there. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm also out of false swipes. So I'm currently just sporing the Magikarp and Pokeballing them until I'm out of PP there. But there's no reason to go to the PC quite yet because I can just spore. Um, I, think it t I think it takes a little longer though, animation wise. It might actually be better uh, time efficiency wise to go get more PP, like heal at the PC, get my PP on the false swipe and then spore. Or and then false life and not have to waste the animation time on spore. I'm gonna try that really quick. I should have teleport to the right PC. So let's go ahead and come here, heal up really quick, and then head back to the spot ASAP. I can actually show you guys. So you start in like Jubilife City, such a funny city name. I feel like then you come up here, go over to the west over here. I actually really like this location for whatever reason. I think this location is very, very cool for a catching event because you kind of have like all of these different areas you can go to, like different parts of the dock. There's like an edge over here that's kind of off the screen where some players like surfed over to. I like catch events with like cool, unique spots that everyone can kind of, I don't know, sh it's, it's almost like showing your personality and kind of expressing yourself through spot location at a catch event, which is like so insane and so funny. And so niche, but I, I don't know. I, re I really like it. It's cool, but I'll see you guys with some more carps. All right, another th one times 31. As soon as I get back, I'm getting pretty lucky, actually. I feel like I feel like my luck on the one times 31 is pretty high at the moment, which is pretty cool. Uh, currently, like it's still 531. I'm still 29 minutes left in the event, and I feel like I've got a decent amount of one times 31 carps. So pretty good luck on that so far. And as soon as I'm talking about how many 1x31s I'm getting, I literally get a back-to-back 1x31 on top of being a 1x30 in speed. That's really cool. Dude, it's crazy. My 1x31 luck has been insane this event. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully I can get like an actually good like event Pokemon that could maybe put me in the running for some sort of prize. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here's a nice one times 31 carp alongside having Jolly Nature. It's pretty cool. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to up price it a little bit for that nature when it doesn't have 31 speed, but a lot of people are going to be using it to breed uh, something with 31 tech and 31 speed. But I don't think they want the nature that quick into the breed, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it could be up priced because that. I'll have to check the. I'll just have to check the GTL. So, but I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Okay. This is my best carp so far. So this is going to go ahead and be a 152 uh, total store, I believe. Because yeah, it's lonely. I don't think that gives me any benefit i'm gonna go ahead and mark that as a 152 carp i mean that's pretty good that's pretty damn solid uh i don't think it's i don't think it's good enough for like any placement like i, I don't think that would ever win third place um if i don't get anything better i, I would still submit it uh, and kind of have that chance but i, I don't think that'll be I, I don't think that puts me in the running for anything i really don't um but still a pretty good magic carp and it's a pretty cool catch so can't complain Here's a nice one times 31 speed carp as I'm actually, oh, with naive nature, I should actually denote that. 
as I'm actually price checking something for someone right now. That's why I have the GTL up. Anyways, see you guys with the next carp. All right, here's a nice male one times 31, one times 30 carp plus some 25 plus in some other areas. We'll go ahead and mark that as one times 31, one times 30. It's a pretty nice carp. Only a 123 total score, but. It's a pretty nice carp. It's pretty cool to see. It's currently 5.54 p.m. So there are only six minutes left in the event. So I'm going to do my final catching. And I'm literally so stressed about my poke boxes. It's insane. You guys are going to have to. You guys are going to see the carnage and just see how absolutely full they are. And see me try to deal with them. Uh, because they're ridiculous. I really need to clean up my boxes. I need to organize my dittos that I've caught. But to do that, I need to like do a big breed on a shiny charm that I've been like prepping, but I also need like a ton of encounters for that. So I need to start shiny hunting a lot more, but I'm so busy, so I don't have that much time for shiny hunting. So there's like this like chain of events that like needs to happen um, before I can clean stuff out properly. But yeah, that basically covers it all. I'll see you guys with another good carp maybe before the event ends or my last caught carp of the event. Uh, either way, one of those, see you soon. And then right after that catch, this is a pretty crazy catch. Uh, 20 plus across and everything except for HP. I mean, that's definitely a very notable carp. And it's male, uh, which is really good. That's a really, really good breeder. Uh, really, really, really great breeder carp for sure. Uh, not enough to do anything in the event, but it's a great carp to have. Great carp to sell. Okay, the event just ended. Uh, I don't think I have anything worth submitting. I have that 152 poke. Um, that I might submit, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, we'll see. But my boxes, I actually just saw one get, a magic carp get sent to my last box. I just want to show you guys how messed up my boxes are right now because Jesus. So I have this box full and over flooding with carps and finion. These are all the dittos that I've caught. This box got over flooded with, with magic carps. Uh, this box was already full. This box got flooded with magic carbs. This box got flooded with magic carbs. And now this box got flooded with random magic carbs scattered all over the place. And then this box. I literally have five empty slots left in my boxes. Dude, like the greatest fear a lot of players have is getting a shiny with like your boxes being full. Like that is, that should never happen. That's messed up. That's a huge mistake. Don't let that happen to you. Uh, wow, I have a lot of carps and pokemon to sort through i can go ahead and release this one this is going to be a pain but i'm going to submit my one really quickly i can actually look it up 152 uh i don't know how to this is my utility box so honestly i can just swip it in for my for my persian and then i have to deal i have to i have to do a lot i'm going to go ahead and whisper go ahead whisper damien i think he's participating in this event i'll go cosmuth just because I know he's taking entries. Um, I don't think this will be relevant, but. Okay, there it is. Cool carp, cool entry. Sick, now I gotta sort through my boxes. Peace, see you guys when it's placement time. All right, they're announcing placements now. People are wowing because fourth place with a very, very low score of 14. Congrats to poor NZL. That is very, very low for a uh, for you know for for fourth place. That is that is a very good that's a very good fourth place. So that's pretty damn impressive. Pretty cool. I wonder if he linked it. It was small. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Five below across the board. Five two two four one zero. That's a crazy crazy carp. Nice catch. Congrats. All right, third place was 164 points. Let me actually make my chat. There we go. A ton bigger. So 164 points for, for third place, which is pretty high. Uh, or kind of, I want to say it's like, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, people are saying I expected higher, 164. Honestly, yeah, 164. Now that he's, the moderator says high. But honestly, in my opinion, 164 is kind of a low, kind of, kind of lower than, uh, or maybe like, maybe it's average. Uh, which is like I would expect a lot higher for like a magic card catching event where like the, the Pokemon you're catching you're catching everyone's catching so many so rapidly uh, It's pretty cool. And then second place with 167 points. Congrats. Congrats. I'm surprised first place 
isn't or the, this is not like way higher. It's a magic carp catching event, so I'm surprised. I feel like the I, I was kind of expecting like a 176 maybe and like a magic carp event, maybe like a 174. Maybe I'm maybe I'm silly, but I don't know. People, it's just so many people catching so many Pokemon that I just expected really high uh, point values. Let's go ahead and see what first place is. Okay, they're saying wow, close. Okay, I'm gonna turn off recording until there we go. Is first place okay? First place is actually 169. Of course, it is Lady Lily. Wait, isn't that someone? That name sounds familiar. I don't know if it's someone in our team. Or if it's just a name. I've seen that name before. But yeah, congrats. That's awesome. GG. GZ. Okay, that was a pretty cool event. Pretty fun. I actually caught a ton of 1x31 carps. So I cleaned up all my boxes. Uh, yeah, you see all these are cleaned up really nicely. I do have four carp here that I need to sell. Uh, and then I think some scattered carp here that I probably need to sell and deal with. I was going to be at pain. Some of these are just going to end up staying here. But this one's like going to sell. Um, yeah, there's a ton here to sort through, man. Uh, this is a, Some of these are also older. And I have to like kind of figure out like which of the carps I just caught and which were like older. Uh, it's like This is like an older one. Like these two I think are older. Yeah, I think these are older carps that have been in my boxes for a while that I've kept for breeding. Uh, but something like this. Here, let me actually go ahead. Pop this in here. Release. This is a release Pokemon. So I have these carps to sell on top of these carps, I believe. And then some here. Yeah, so I have four bo four carps in my utility that I need to sell. And then four carps. God, my boxes really are a mess. And then four carps. Or uh, four carps in my utility, a ton of carps in box one, or at least like a couple. I probably can release these Finneon as well. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sell all this stuff. Or maybe I'll, I might try to get a price check for you guys to see how much money I made. Um, I might not. I probably won't. But, because I don't want to do that and I don't really care. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Leave comments, questions, criticisms, feedback, etc. Uh, let me know if you guys prefer camera or no camera when recording these catching events. I won't be hurt by your feedback. If you think my face is too uh, distracting or ridiculous to look at during, I understand. If you think the facial expressions are, are good and helpful, that's cool. I've always been told I'm a very facially expressive person. I've been told many times by people that they would love to play poker against me because I have absolutely no poker face. But anyways, I appreciate it. Subscribe for more daily Pokemon content. Go ahead and ring the bell for notifications. Join the Discord below. There's a lot of cool people chilling there on Discord. Uh, come hang out. Peace and love, Petrowski. Have a great day.